Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to my review of Doctor Who Galaxy 4, the first story of Doctor Who Season 3. Sadly this story is partly missing, episodes 1, 2 and 4 are missing. Episode 3 survives um, and is released on the Aztec Special Edition DVD with a condensed reconstruction of episodes 1, 2 and 4. Sadly there is no release featuring a full length reconstruction or reanimation of this story with the surviving episode 3. I don't know why. I don't know. I think if they're going to go to the trouble of a reconstruction of the story, they should have gone full, all out. They should have done the full reconstruction, uh, not just a condensed one, a full reconstruction with the surviving episode 3. And if that delayed the release, fine. It could have been a tw late 2013, 2014 release. And the Aztec Special Edition uh, could have had a some um, something else along instead of Gats for maybe the making of Galaxy 4. I don't know, maybe a sneak preview of what's coming up. I know why I included on this release, it's because this was the latest William Hartnell uh, story coming out in March 2013. I know there's some more William Hartnells to come, the 10th Planet came out a bit later on in the year, but this was the latest William Hartnell release, and it's also the closest William Hartnell release at the time to Galaxy 4. I Although the closest actual story is the time editor, and apparently the reconstruction was originally slated for that story. Don't know what uh, that DVD release. I don't know why. Didn't even know that they were expecting episode three by that point. I don't know. I just read that that re the reconstruction was originally scheduled to be on the time meddler DVD. Hmm. That was the case. They should have just released its own DVD release with, and then when they got episode four back, they would have their own special. They would have a special edition. Hmm, I don't know. This might not this might not be true, but hmm. but either way, I think it, it should have gotten its own DVD release. I think Galaxy Four needs its own DVD release. Uh, maybe think about animating those episodes if you can. BBC are doing the Macro Terror. They need to do the Crusade. I've already mentioned they need to do that for the same reason they did the Moon Base. So after Crusade, Galaxy 4 needs its attention doing, and then sort out the Underwater Menace, because a lot of people don't like that reconstruction. Sort that one out, and give that one a special edition release. Okay, oh, and the Web Planet, uh, Web of Fear. Uh, if you can't find them, the missing episode, animate it. It needs more extras. So, Galaxy 4, now we've got all that out of the way. Um, this story is about the Doctor, Vicky and Steven landing on an pla unknown planet, actually, it's never actually named, where two races, the Dravins and the Rills, have crashed. The Dravins are... they're a funny bunch, because you've got these really high elite characters that are born and bred, although they kill most of the men who aren't needed for that thing, and you've got these kind of... Uh, maid female character? Uh, made people like g grown, I suppose, biogenetically cl uh, grown in a way, and these are second cl uh, class citizens in a way. Drava is a very uh, segregate segregated uh, planet, these races are segregation segregated. I wonder if this is a I wonder if this is a a mirror image of stuff that was happening in America plus women's rights. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, originally they were going to be men, but uh, by the uh, the writer was going to have them as men, but producer Verity Lam Lambert changed it to women. Maybe it was more interesting. It's certainly more interesting seeing a more female-led uh, robot system. So, uh, Ray, well, not robot, uh, re female, mostly race, but it's still got those segregation. Uh, segregated roles for these characters like most I would say most of the Dravans are second class and are those second class lower ranks and their leader Mara at Margara is one of the elite the higher the upper class one maybe that's so she killed at the start as well not at the start when they crashed as well but I'm not actually sure 
and they will kill inj their own injured people. And then she goes on off and tells the others that it was the reals that killed her. Because this, they, they're also a warlike species as well, like the Sontarans and the Maya. Is it the Maya? Yeah, the Maya from the girl who uh, died. So, yeah, and they really want to kill the reals and steal their spaceship so they can escape the planet. And they're going to be, uh, they're going to be brutal to the Doctor and his companions as well. Try holding them hostage and threatening them, even prepared to kill them. Just for their own, own game. They are nasty. These are nasty characters. Especially Mara. Margaret. Uh, and the other ones are a bit dim. Because they're almost like robots. Except they're actually grown. They're flesh and blood. It's just that they're not born. It's like basically like a clone in a way. I wonder if Robert Holmes took some inspiration from these characters. For the Sontarans. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely seen some Sontaran parallels. Sadly, we won't be seeing any Sontarans until season 11. I like the Chumleys. The Chumbly robots are quite cute. They're nice. And the Rules themselves, they have an interesting big fish design, but it's nice that they're not the main villains. That's actually Mara, not Margaret. They're actually the good, the good people, and... Yeah, it's a predictable but nice twist in the middle of the story. And it's... Uh done really well, although it does meander a little bit in the middle, and in the third episode that does survive, we get to uh, hear all the truth, all the facts, but it still meanders a little bit until we are able to rescue Stephen at the end. And um, is it a rushed ending? It's uh, I don't, I'm not completely able to follow what's going on in the end, but I am able to get the very end of the story as it is. Eventually, uh, the Dravens are all left on the planet to die, serves them right. But one thing I think should have happened is the Dravens found out about Margaret's uh, lie. I think that would have been one thing, and maybe they would have preferred to stop her from escaping and let the uh, time traveller, the Doctor and his companions, escape, as a, and the Dravens sacrifice themselves to make sure Margaret didn't get, didn't get away. And, to be fair, the Doctor and his companions could have offered them to take offered to take them with them, they could have uh, well, eat at some any point in the story. It's like even though you were very nice, you tried to uh, not very nice. You tried to kill us. You've been very aggressive, and you're really nasty. We're still nice. We'd let you come with you. It will take you to your home world and drop you off there, and then that's it. Happy. I'm sure a new, a new series Doctor would have done it. Considering they've got more time in the classic series, they like rushing their endings sometimes. In this one's case, not so much, but a little bit. And it's mostly because it's so much build-up in these earlier stories that they rush or have very quick endings. Overall, Galaxy 4 is fun, enjoyable, but it can be a bit tricky to follow the plot sometimes, and even a bit of a struggle to understand what's going on in places. This may be coming up uh, due to the fact that this reconstruction I watched did have, didn't have the best audio. To be fair, I think most of these don't have the best audio, but this one in particular wasn't so great, so it was a struggle to hear. However, if you're able to follow it, then oh, cool, great. So, guy. C4. Originally I had it down as a 9 out of 10 after watching the condensed reconstruction and I really liked it. I thought it was a great story. But then watching the full story reconstruction plus the surviving episode the first time I thought it's not quite as good as I remember but it's still pretty good. And so it went down to an 8. But after this I, I couldn't quite understand every single bit. I couldn't quite get into it as much as I used to I think. So I'm going to settle on a 7 out of 10 for this for this time round. Let's hope it just it stays this way until a proper uh, full length official reconstruction or reanimation comes out. This is how it's going to be. And so therefore I'm going to give Galaxy 4 a 7 out of 10. Yeah, so a bit of a disappointment considering this was a great story, I really liked it. But then again the Web Planet turned out to be a bit of a disappointment as well. 
on the most recent viewing, so... Hmm, whilst Crusade, on the other hand, went up my enjoyment ranking, I think I would also say the same for Marco Polo, in a way. Um, but anyway, so thank you for watching this review. Next time, it is Mission to the Unknown, which is the weakest Dalek story of the 1960s, sadly. And it just came off one of the best. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>